Shamai, high G versus low G. So I just want to explain high G and low G strings on a ukulele. Um, I said high G versus low G. That technically isn't correct because there's no winners. One isn't better than the other. Um, it really is all down to personal preference. What I'll do is I'll just explain about high G and low G and play you a couple of examples of both strings. So, high G and low G. High and low means pitch in music. Um, you think about any instrument, piano, ukulele, violin, the higher up you go, the pitch goes up, the lower the pitch goes down. And it's no different on our ukuleles. What we're actually talking about though is open strings. Okay, so our A strings, same. Our E strings, same. Our C strings, same. But this uke has got a high G and this uke has got a low G. All right, hear the difference? High G, low G, same note. Just one is high pitch and one is low pitch. Now the fact that our fourth string, our G string is actually higher than our third string on our ukes is actually quite different to most other instruments. All right, if you think about a violin or a guitar, they go in a normal ascending, descending fashion to their open strings. But on the uke, the fourth string is actually a higher pitch than both the third string and in fact, the second string. And that's called re-entrant tuning or it re-enters, okay? And you don't find that on most instruments. It is fairly unique to the uke, not completely, but it's quite rare to find. Now, this wouldn't be re-entrant tuning because it goes in the normal ascending, descending pattern. So the strings get lower as we go down, okay? Now it gives the ukes a completely different sound. They're exactly the same to play. In terms of chord shapes, you don't change because one is low and one is high, all right? So don't start panicking about that at all. So the more traditional tuning of the uke with a high G, um, I say more traditional, many players have used low Gs for years and years and years, um, but it's what people would associate more with the traditional sound of a ukulele. <laughs> Same thing, but on a low G. idea of strumming with a high G. idea of strumming with a low G.
Now, as I mentioned earlier, it is entirely personal preference. Um, there will be people who will argue that low G's are better. There will be people who argue that high G's are better. Um, for me, personally, I prefer strumming with a high G. Um, but I actually quite like finger picking with a low G. Um, now, I'm not um, the greatest finger picker on the ukulele yet. It's something I'm working on. But just to give you a little idea um, of the differences with the sound. So as I said, it is entirely down to personal preference, whether you prefer a high G or a low G, or um, enjoy playing both. As I said, I prefer strumming with a high G, but I do enjoy finger picking with a low G. Um, you do get different sounds. So like me, you'll end up with ukuleles with both on. You can get low Gs on all the sizes, soprano, concert, and tenor. I've never actually played a soprano with a low G, maybe that's a future project, um, but it is worth trying and possibly having both. Um, so things to think about when you are changing your G string. First of all, um, you get different types of G strings, all right? You get ones like this, which are, if I go like that, I don't know if you can see it, you can certainly hear it, that's a round wound string. In other words, it's got a metal coating over a nylon core. You can get nylon low G strings as well, all right? So, and they don't have that, that sound to it. Again, personal preference. You do need to check the size, because I think it generally goes soprano and concert low Gs and then tenor low G. So if you are going to buy a low G string, make sure the size, and you can't just detune your G strings on your ukes at the minute. If you've got a high G on there and you think, oh, I'll have a go, it's, you're not gonna be able to play it. It's just gonna be all floppy and loose. You won't be able to strum it. So you do need to get a special low G for your ukes. So the other thing you've got to remember as well is when you fit in a G string, a low G string, you may, not always, but you may have to just do a very slight alteration and make the nut slightly wider because, of course, the low G is a larger string than the high G. If you're not confident about doing that, take your uke to a luthier or um, a local uke shop because if you get it wrong and you make too much of a gap there, you could easily end up with a buzzing string um, or it's slipping out, okay? So, different sizes, all right? Soprano, concert, tenor. You've got to get a special low G. You get round wound and nylon, and they may need a little bit of adjusting um, when you're fitting a low G string. So, high G versus low G, it isn't a competition. There are no winners, it's all about personal preference okay so when we're talking about high and low g's we're talking about the open strings they do sound different but it's entirely up to you which you prefer or whether you like using both um they sound different when you're finger picking and when you're strumming if you do decide to fit a low g remember you can't just go and lower the string that is already on there you need to go and buy a low G string, check the size and whether or not you went round wound or nylon and they may need just a little bit of adjustment when it comes to fitting it.
out as always if you've got any questions or comments feel free to leave them below give us a like if you've enjoyed don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos thank you for watching